Who is this? Oh, what is your name, sir? So how, many, how many times am I going to see you? All the time? All right, cool. Well, my, yeah, my time here, you are going to become an anime expert. All right, so first, this right here is Pokemon. Don't you say Pokemon one time. All right, Pokemon, all right? But this is Eevee, though. Oh, who said yeah? You did it? Yeah, heck yeah. See? Yeah, see? You don't know who Eevee is? No, sorry, Okay, well, what is it? What'd you say, a dog, cat? Which one? A cat, mostly? Yeah. So it's basically a cat. This is how they start off, though. But Eevee can, like, evolve into, like, eight different types of Pokemon, basically. So, but Eevee, though. E-E-V-E-E. -E -E -E. All right, Luke, we about to have fun. Next time, <laughs> come in here with, you know, with some socks on. I got socks on. Oh, do you? Yeah, they're just, they're just a little bit. Mm. A little line. We're good. <laughs> Ankle socks tell a lot about you, man. I'm just saying. I'll just play. So which, which evolution is your favorite? Mine? Oh, Ombreon. Yeah. yeah, I'm a dark type of Pokemon, man. If I was a Pokemon trainer, I'd be a dark type for sure. Yeah, you can't tell by like, you you would think I'm all, <laughs> but this smile can be like for evil too. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it depends what type of mood I'm in. Well, what uh, stature were part of back your Oh, I thought you said back there. Go ahead. Uh, what? How did? What led you to wanting to sign with the same? What was attractive about coming here and, and deciding to? to oh. I would say, honestly, I just like the team. Honestly, it, it, it kind of came out of nowhere. But at the same time, I just love how they had interest in me and, you know, just showed that they wanted me to be here. And honestly, I'm just proud to be part of a great team like this. So a lot of vets on it, a lot of a team that has a lot of players that know, you know, what playoffs is, what, when the Super Bowl is. So. I'm just grateful to be here and be part of a team that already knows how to win and, and knows what to do. So I'm just coming in and just bringing my part in here. Yeah. My boy, uh, <laughs> who did I see? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to talk about it later. Go ahead, go ahead. You good. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I got to talk to my boy first. You said that you came out of nowhere. Can you walk us through the timeline in terms of like when they reached out and when you agreed? The timeline? Oh. Yeah. yeah, but the funny part is, is like I feel like I manifested this, kind of like manifested it because uh, Coach Thomas, mm -hmm. he a great dude, he a great dude, and it's just we was uh, like not really talking at the Super Bowl, like we was just catching up, saying hey, how you doing, you know, just talking a little bit, and the last thing I said to him like when we was just breaking off was like I see you soon. I just said it, you know, it's like I see you soon, not bye, nothing like that. See you soon. <laughs> So now that, that really stick in my head, I'm like, hmm, oh, look what God done did. Done made the blessings happen, and now I'm here at this great facility, this great team, and, you know, I just can't wait to get to work. And I just love that people think they know me, you know what I mean? So I can't wait to prove people wrong this year, too. So it's business. This is all business. You see me smiling, but I'm here for business, just to let y'all know. <clears throat> me? Oh. I think I bring a lot of emotion. I think I bring a lot of just 100% love and grit and just being a warrior and just being myself. Um, I don't do anything I feel like that's out of what teams do or try to be like apart from the team. I rather, I want to be part of the team no matter what I can do. So blocking, running it, shoot, get back to kick return, pump return, whatever they need me to do, I'm with it. But I'm just here to just give everything I got, give everything all my talents, Keep learning how to get better, because um, you can never stop improving. So, and that's why I love about football. Like people think they know me so bad, they just think they know my running style. They think they know what how I'm run the ball, but you can always change that up. So that's why I can't wait for the season. What's the misperception? Huh? What's the misperception? You already got it. <laughs> All that boo boo. So it's whatever people think they know, because you know people they just know football because they. They know it all. So I don't, I ain't gonna get into it. I'm just gonna let the play happen. But I'm just excited for it to be on this team. I'm excited to win some games. I'm excited to go. That's all. Ooh. Did you have an opportunity to stay in Detroit or did they kind of decide? Um, basically, they've been, they've been done with it. I could tell. But it's just like the, 
the offer they gave me, I feel like was very just disrespectful and just showing that they really, you know, uh, really didn't want me to really be there like that. But it's all love. Like, I know my teammates, you know, everybody there at Detroit Lions have love for me and all that. But at the same time, you know, it's just we couldn't come to terms with things. And <laughs> it's just funny. It's just all. It's funny to me because at the end of the day, I know the blessings are still coming just for me being who I am, just being a 100% genuine person who, you know, when things don't go my way, I'm still wishing blessings and positivity to people because that's the only way blessings and positivity come to you is when darkness starts happening, you got to be the light. And I feel like just me having a good attitude and energy about this whole situation um, led me here to a great spot and being able to be picked up here and be a saint. So. How excited are you, though? Oh. Oh, Taysom? Oh, I can't wait to mess with him. <laughs> it's been too long now. So I can't wait to mess with him. Don't worry. You'll see it. But I'm just excited. Like, I am trembling from excitement right now. I'm just shaking. I can't wait to go to work, though. So I'm just grateful to be here. I'm grateful for uh, – <laughs> I'm still trying to get this word. NOLA? Did I say it right? Okay. I'm just making sure. I don't want to say it wrong at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stick with NOLA. But, yeah, I'm just grateful for NOLA for – just accepting accepting me already, you know what I mean, and just let the just watch the party, man. Just enjoy the show, watch us go to work, um, but just know that me being part of this team is going to be a positive impact, and I'm just here to help us win in any way we can. It don't matter. I am here. I don't know. I don't care no more. Anybody can have interest, but if they don't pull the plug on you, then it don't really matter. So. I'm, I'm grateful to be here. That's all that matters right now. I'm a saint. Mm, they pulled the plug on your boy, and I'm ready to go. You were talking about the misconceptions. Do you feel like you threw some of that wrong last year with the type of year that you had? Nah, because, you know, you're always going to have haters, so people are always going to hate on any type of season you have. You got the greatest season of your life, and people going to just always find something to be negative about. So I don't really worry about it, because at the end of the day, I know that I'm my biggest critic. And I know what I can improve on and be better. And I'm just going to keep doing that. So I really don't worry about what other people say. I take notice to it, just to just have it in the area and just be aware of your surroundings. But I don't let it really affect me as a person. And so I just take it as, well, I do take it personal. Because I take it as a personal challenge for me, just to get better. But at the end of the day, I just like proving people wrong. So. You think you know me? You don't know me. And I, I will show you. <laughs> huh? First swag, Azakage. Jamal Williams. That's it. But you're going to see in play, like, I don't, I don't like to describe how I play football. I just like to play football and let it describe itself. So, ooh, I'm about to be a poet. <laughs> one, that was a nice one. one. obvious perception is you seem to be, again, a part of a, a one-two punch with yeah. – Oh yeah, yeah. I've always been always been grateful to be able to be partner up with great backs, and so I'm just grateful to be here with Alvin and you know just get to work. You know, and the great thing about it is it's just a positive competition. I'm all about positive competition. I'm about pushing my teammates to the best that they can be. And them pushing me. And that's the only way that we can get better. Iron sharpers iron. So that when we go out there and face another team, we already know that we, we can go out there and execute and win. So I'm just here to just keep pushing my teammates any type of way I can. And, you know, we already know what the main goal is for us in the season. So winning. That's it. So I'm just ready to go, man. I'm just – I'm really excited. That's all. Each, each year or – Every year that I, I go, I feel like I'm, I'm just growing as a, a man, a person, a human being is just learning himself in, in this world. So I'm just happy. I got a lot going through my mind right now just because just I'm so excited. But it's just like I'm so proud to be here. I'm grateful for being here. My hard work and everything I've been going through in my life has got me to this um, place right now. 
And I just want to just keep moving forward by working hard, being a great example, and just being a great teammate, football player, and showing Nola that y'all picked up the right dude to be in here. So I appreciate it, though. I'm sorry, yo, this and this. <laughs> you remind me of like V for vengeance, is that it? Did I say it right? Yeah, that mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, V for vendetta. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> like as soon as you started talking, the only thing I was looking at is this and this. Okay, go ahead, my bad. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Nah. It was like for me and everybody in my draft class is like we see each other. And for me, I'm just, you know, how you doing? How you doing? You doing good. Like checking on people when you see them. But I like Alvin's always been cool. He never when I see him, you know, it's always been, hey, how you doing? Great. So I can't wait to work with him when I actually can see him. And then we actually start hanging out. And then you guys figure, you know, what Jamal is about and I can figure what he's about. But I'm grateful to just be in that RB room already, you know, talking to the dudes already and just figuring them out. It's getting, it's going to be great. So I appreciate just everybody just accepting me already, bringing me into the team, you know, and just being real professionals about it. Jamal, 17 touchdowns is, is kind of a wild number. What, what, how do you, you know, what led to getting the end of that? That? Uh, honestly, I give credit to my linemen, you know, tight ends. Everybody that was blocking really is just having that single mindset of knowing that we want to, we're going to get into this end zone and it, it takes everybody. And so, but for me, you know, all I need them to do is just hold on just for a second or something. Just let me get them wheels running and we get in the end zone. But go line easy because that's just my mindset already. But like how people say, you know, 17 touchdowns and then, you know, you're always going to have haters who just hate. And, you know, they don't, the first thing to hate on is, they're all goal line runs. <laughs> Whipty freaky do. I'm I'm glad that y'all figured that out. Great for you. <laughs> My, most people can't even get to one yard, but you want to talk? Yeah, that's why I, that's why I don't watch TV because yeah. a lot of people who watch it be commenting things that they don't know what they're talking about. But at the end of the day, like I I like that though. I want y'all to think that I'm only a goal line runner. So when I get into the open field and I start breaking them, I don't want to hear nobody talking about, oh, he got this, he could do it. I don't want to hear none of that. Go back to call me what you thought I was, because what I like to do is prove people wrong. So I can't wait. That's why I said I take this personal. Like people, people think we play football and we like we playing football and, and we out there having fun and we don't take our job serious. But for me, you know, it's this is personal. I've been wanting to do this since I was a little kid, and I take my job very seriously. I take it like how you take your job serious, you know what I mean? I come in early, I do what I need to do to make sure I'm ready to go for my team, for my uh, coaches, for everybody to understand that I take this very serious. It's, it's a responsible, hmm, it's a responsible trait that I have. Like, I want to make sure I don't let nobody down that I that are looking up to me that are Make sure that I'm I'm responsible and holding accountability. So, I just want to make sure my teammates know, like I'm coming in here to go to work, be a positive type of energy, and just do what I can to help this team win. The uh, flip side of that perception of do you consider that a strength of your like if, if you want that one yard, if it's what? third and one, or if it's that's easy first and goal. Yeah. That's easy. Why are we talking? Yeah, that's easy. We do that already. I'm talking about other stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, People already know what I could do on goal line. It's there already. So that's why they that's why they talk like they do already about how they think they know me as a runner. So that's why I just can't wait to get onto the open field and finally get some <laughs> get some more fifty yard runs happening. I only had two of them, but I need more of those, you know? And it felt good last year to actually try to get them legs sprinting, try to show my speed off a little bit more. So I'm excited to get that going. You said that you like the winning culture here. Yeah. Shoot, uh, Coach Thomas, he's a cool dude. Um, so mostly just having that relationship. Yeah, him. it was just having a, a good relationship with Coach Thomas first, um, and then they came in with just how they came in and gave me the respect, showed me 
what they wanted from me, how much they was paying for it, and how many years, and we came to a conclusion. So, and it's just crazy how easy it was. It wasn't hard, it wasn't difficult, and we came to the conclusion to show, you know, they wanted me, if you want me to be here, I'm, I'm here for it. And my loyalty is for anybody who believes in me to do my job, so. I'm here in NOLA now, so I'm grateful to be here for real. When we spoke to uh, Derek Carr, Yo, um, DC year. Mm -hmm. One of the good things that he mm -hmm. highlighted is that it meant a lot to him that the Saints wanted him. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that resonates oh, yeah. as well with this process. Yeah, and, that's, and I feel like that's what sometimes that gives when new players come into a new uh, team, it gives us that type of uh, common goal, you know what I mean? That common feeling of emotions of, you got to let go from a team, now you're on a, a new team. You know, now you go ahead and prove why you're on this team. Go ahead and prove why you got signed and all. And I think that's what Derek want to do. That's what I want to do, you know. And this team already been great. You know, this team already been good. So I'm just grateful for us to come on here, give our <laughs> give our motivation, give our, our performances, because we ready to go. I know he is, too. He already texts me. I know when. My quarterback takes me, oh yeah, he mean business, and it's about to go. So I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to be on this great team, man. Yee, I can't wait to go. Where my helmet at? <laughs> man, I didn't pick a number yet, but it's cool. There was, a, there was a report that it was about 15 minutes in terms of when they reached out to you to sign the contract. Is that accurate? Did it really move that quickly? I don't know. Sure. I just wait for the call. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Let's go. Let's get this job going, son. For me, it's not even like, it wasn't even uh, like I was stressing to go somewhere or nothing. I was, I literally let my agent, that's what you pay them to do. Get, you go out there and perform, and then after that, let your agent go out there and represent you the right way to get you the, the contract that you deserve. So I feel like we did a great job. We came to a great conclusion, and this is where I want to be at, so. We got time for one more. He's lying. <laughs> Derek, Derek got a lot of flack because he said he went to Chipotle when he first got here. So he went, went to Chipotle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> not like Chipotle's not good, but it's just Chipotle. Uh, you said, where do I, have I been? Or where, or where I want to go? Go. Ooh. I don't know. My my. Like, when I said I was coming here, the first thing my girlfriend said was, ooh, you got to try some baguettis, bougetti. Oh, beignettes. 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 <laughs> you got to try the beignet. Beignet. The beignets. You got to try them beignets. So I was like, I still haven't tried it yet, but it's a donut, right? Oh, that might be too much for me. It's only three more. Okay. Well, that, uh... <laughs> Crawfish, but I don't want the head on it though. I can't do it. I'm a little squeamish. Like it's just the, I don't do well with dead things that are still intact with the head on it. Like it's looking at me, I could, I just can't do it. But if it's, yeah, if you somebody do it for me, then I, I'll demolish that thing. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, but I love seafood, but I know seafood is here. I know that for sure. But them beignettes, yeah, I'm gonna have to try those. <laughs> Try those next time. <laughs>